Hannah, you're going to Emerson, yay! I'm very happy you made your final decision. I am happy you're going there. I think it's all gonna work out. I'm just, I'm very, very happy. You can't see it because I'm not gonna stand up, but I look very French today, like in my outfit, and I did not intend to do that. It just sort of happened, but you know, je suis français, c'est, c'est la plus belle paix. Ha ha ha, baguette. That is what an intermediate French level in college will get you. So yesterday I sort of realized I'm kind of involved in three shows this quarter. <laughs> I've only got a big commitment to one. I'm assistant stage managing Line Winter, which is a 10th week show, and so that that's a big commitment. I have to be there at every rehearsal. But I'm also um, working on puppets on one, and then I'm, uh, I, I wrote one. <laughs> So there's only like a couple of rehearsals for that because it's really just a staged reading, but I still have to go to those. And so this is going to be a special quarter. I mean, I have so much work to do and I just spent an hour doing nothing on the internet. I, I have problems. There isn't anything exciting going on in my life to talk about. I mean, I'm reading Ivanhoe. It's the most thrilling development lately. Uh, I like my English class. We're reading Ivanhoe. And I'm supposed to be coming up with all these like deep thoughts about objects in Ivanhoe and their symbolism and... Instead, all I kind of realized was that Ivanhoe is basically mean girls. The Normans and the Saxons are not big fans of each other because the Normans conquered the Saxons a very long time ago and the Saxons are still pissed and the Normans don't like the Saxons and they're just, they, they don't like each other. And the Norman, like, prince, Prince John, he invites some Saxons over for a feast um, as well as some Normans. And the entire feast, the Normans just do nothing but insult the Saxons. But, like, they don't just blatantly insult them. They're, like, sort of under in like like subtle insults so they're sort of compliments that are really insults and then the saxons get all pissed so they start insulting them the same way and the saxons leave in a huff it's like good lord this is the freaking plastics i wonder so often how i got into the school i compare ivanhoe to mean girls i'm not intellectual on a completely unrelated note um i discovered something recently which is that I apparently, according to my, my various friends, do not have white girl hair. A couple of my, like, Asian, Hispanic, and black friends have all come up with this thing, which is there's perfect white girl hair, and I do not have it. And I'm not saying, you know, all white girls have this hair, because they don't, but there are some girls who, they basically brush their hair, and it's, it's perfect. It, it's silky, and it doesn't tangle for the entire rest of the day, and they can just do this, you know, and, like, it'll fall perfectly in place aka your hair. My hair is not like that, nor has it ever been like that. I brush my hair, and about 10 minutes later, it will be tangly again, no matter what I do. It just is an automatic thing. Its natural state is tangles. And if I walk outside, it just, it just gets... And if I, if, I do, if I do this... Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that... This is what happens. <laughs> I was not blessed, Hannah, with was apparently one of the best parts of my race, aka perfect white girl hair. I mean, like, my friend Chris will just sort of, like, run his fingers through people's hair. It's just something he does. Um, and he was running his fingers through my hair, and he kept, like, encountering tangles, and I was like, this isn't fun for you, is it? He was like, no. <laughs> I think it's because my hair's so thick. Like, when I go to the hairdresser, this is, this is ridiculous. When I go to the hairdresser, um, no matter who it is, if it's someone who encountered me before or not, their first, like, comment is, oh, oh my god, your hair is thick, and it's like, mm-hmm. But I've just kind of accepted the fact that my hair will always be this awkward, puffy, thick thing, and it, it's it's never gonna be the pretty styled thing, you see, on, on the Hollywood. On, on the Hollywood, yeah, that's, that's, that's the word for it. Okay, I've talked about hair far too much. I'm gonna go do homework. I love you. Goodbye. This is ridiculous. <laughs>